In this video, you are going to learn how to set up a business email for free. I am assuming that you already have a domain name and a website and currently using the default email solution of your hosting provider. If you don't have a website go ahead and get a free domain and hosting from the link in the description of this video. I am using TMD hosting for all of my sites and all I can say is that they are awesome. In this video, we are going to use Zoho to configure a free business email solution so that you can manage all of your emails in a very neat way and mostly hide the MX servers of the origin server. I will leave a link to the sign up page of Zoho down below, then you will need to put your domain name as shown in the video. Hit the add button and then fill in your data, name, last name, and password. Once your account is created you will need to confirm your mobile number. You cannot open an account without a mobile number, so no spammers are allowed. Once your mobile number is verified it is highly recommended to enable a two-factor authentication login on your account as well. I am using Authy instead of Google Authenticator and there is a link in the video description talking about Authy as well. Enable the 2FA on your account and download the backup codes in a safe place on your computer. Alright now we are a little bit safer than before. Now it comes the part where you need to verify that you are the owner of the website and also change a bunch of parameters so that you can start receiving email on the Zoho server. The reason why you are using Zoho is that it's free, it will hide your origin server MX, it works good and it's nice. I am using Cloudflare on my sites to manage the DNS of my sites. I use Cloudflare because changes on your DNS are immediately and they are offering free CDN plans that will improve your site speed. In order to verify that you are the owner of the domain, you will need to add a TXT record to Cloudflare and put the stuff that appears on Zoho. The symbol, at, is a shortcut for your domain name, so you can use it every time you need to write your domain name. Once your domain is verified via the Cloudflare TXT record you can create your first business email. This email will have your domain name extension. In order to receive email on a server your DNS will need to have added some parameters called MX, Mail Exchanger Records. Zoho will provide you their MX records and you will need to add them to Cloudflare. Go back to Cloudflare and add one by one. Make sure that you set the priority the same as shown in the Zoho dashboard. Watch out that the MX3 priority is 50 and not 30 as you would expect. Now you can go ahead and verify if the MX records are good or not via the Zoho dashboard. Once you are done with the MX records you want to go back to Cloudflare and add a TXT file that contains the SPF record provided by Zoho. This record will keep spammers away from sending email from your domain with no authorization. Now we are going to create the DKIM record. This is another not mandatory but recommended step to take to improve email deliverability and combat spam. DKIM stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail and setting up this with Joho is pretty straightforward as well. Click on Proceed to configure DKIM and then you will see your domain listed. Edit that domain and add a selector as shown in the video. You can name that selector as you want, I am personally using Zoho as the name of the selector. You will then have to add another TXT record and copy and paste the parameters given from Zoho. With any other provider, you need to add a CNAME here is easier since it's TXT. You can double check if the DKIM has been accepted going back and forward on your dashboard if when going back to configure DKIM you will see a green light on the domain all is configured correctly.
Here I am just verifying that the DKIM is correct moving back and forth on the Zoho dashboard. You will be asked to verify it again once you are logged in into your email for the first time. You can skip the migration process if your email is a new email and you don't need to transfer any email from the previous service. You can also download the Chomo app for iOS and Android. The app is very good and you will love reading your email there. Now you are all set and you will be asked to provide you basic settings such as your time zone, name, and last name and to create an email signature if you want to. If you have no idea how to create a nice signature, I personally use the website linked in the video description for my signatures. I like the way they look, are very easy to make, super simple to customize and they will sync across all of your devices. So go ahead and create a nice signature for your email. Now you can customize the way that you want your inbox to look. There are some cool templates you can pick. Then once you are logged in into your awesome new email dashboard, you will have a notification on the top right. Click on it and go ahead to verify the SPF record and change your main dashboard stuff if you want to make it better. I personally enable two on this as well. There is a slide button you can use there. Now you will not be able to receive any email, cool right? The reason why you are not able to receive email is that your email routing option is still routing the email to your hosting provider. In order to be able to receive email on Zoho, you will need to log in into your cPanel. Once you are there click on, email routing, pick only the domain that you have used on Zoho and then select the option, remote email exchanger. This option will reroute all of your emails from your server to the one of Zoho. Once you complete this step you will be ready to go and receive email on your awesome free Zoho email account. Now let's try to go to our Gmail and send an email to our brand new business email. If all went good you should be ready to receive email on your new Zoho account. The reason why you should use this instead of the original service is that because usually hosting providers are offering only 250 megabytes of email while Zoho 5 gigabytes. You will need to log in each time to your email via cPanel or via an email client which is not very safe, and also if you are integrating it to Gmail the email you will get are not instant. Also, if you are concerned about privacy you want to hide your origin server MX records from hackers. Using Zoho you will accomplish that. If you liked this video please give me thumbs up and if you feel very generous to share it as well.